Hello, this is Buona from Buona.tv and I'm going to talk about the iPhone a little bit and the 2.2 firmware update for this guy. Uh, I haven't updated mine, so I'm just going to give you my thoughts on what is going on and uh, what are my thoughts on the features and some things that you probably didn't know. You're going to be a little bit surprised. Number one, uh, the 2.2 firmware update adds Google Maps uh, street view. That means that on a Google map you can tap on a little person and it takes you down to a street level view where Google can see street levels of various areas around the globe. Um, kind of scary feature but uh, if you like that it's also there. They also have uh, transit routes for if you uh, use public transportation and uh, this, this shows you if you go to a new city uh, utilizes Google Transit to give you some public transit routes to various locations. Very handy if you are a traveler. Uh, also, it adds downloadable podcasts right from the uh, iPod, and, and I'm sorry, from the uh, iPhone and iPod Touch itself. iPod Touch had an update as well. And uh, this is a nice feature. Uh, it's probably going to be the one that I will utilize the most when it comes to the 2.2 firmware update since I am subscribed to podcasts. I would prefer to be able to sync those podcasts without having to dock, and uh, now I can do so. So now you can sync podcasts like Buona.org Radio or even Buona.tv if you subscribe uh, via my uh, iTunes channel, which I am on iTunes, so you can subscribe there. Also, there's some App Store changes, some little cosmetic things in the App Store. Um, and uh, there's a nice little feature. If you delete an app from your, your iPhone, it'll ask you to rate it do you want to rate it or not before you delete it so the developer can get some valuable feedback. Uh, there's a bunch of other little things, Safari, uh, stability. Now this is something that you may not know. I'm going to talk about some of the security content and security features of iPhone OS 2.2 and iPod Touch 2.2. Number one, uh, Core Graphics was updated. There was, a, there was a security flaw where someone could it says visit, visiting a maliciously crafted website may lead to an unexpected application termination or arbitrary code execution. Yes, that sounds pretty serious. Arbitrary code execution means somebody can pin your iPhone or basically take it over. Uh, viewing a maliciously crafted TIFF image here we come with the tips again. May lead to an unexpected application termination or arbitrary arbitrary code execution. You guys remember the old jailbreaks from a while ago where you just visited a web page and you were jailbroken? It was very similar to that. Image IO. Viewing a maliciously crafted TIFF image may lead to an unexpected device reset. So you could view a TIFF image and it could reset your app. These are reasons to update people. If you don't update, you're vulnerable to this. The encryption level, this is networking, the encryption level for PPTP VPN connections may be lower than expected. So if you use VPN, there's a little vulnerability there. Office Viewer, viewing a maliciously crafted Microsoft Excel file may lead to an unexpected application termination or arbitrary code execution. Another vulnerability with, uh, with uh, Excel stuff. Uh, passcode lock, emergency calls are not restricted to emergency numbers, so you could basically call any number through the emergency uh, call feature. Uh, restoring a device from backup may not re-enable the passcode lock. That's a vulnerability. So there's a bunch of more. Let's see, Safari. Visiting a maliciously crafted website may lead to an unexpected application termination or arbitrary code execution. So it's all these different arbitrary code executions or application termination. And I have visited a lot of websites on Safari that just crash it. I don't know if they're doing it on purpose. But uh, there's a ton of these, and I'll put a link in, in, in the descriptions here, to this security, the security content of iPhone OS 2.2 and iPod firmware 2.2. You may not know those things because, you know, the things that are getting the press are Google Street View and the iPod and the, uh, the podcast downloads. But you may not know of all these security updates, which sound pretty important, and I'm considering updating right now um, just due to those uh, I, I could do without jailbreaking for a couple of weeks, maybe a couple of months until the iPhone dev team uh, comes out with a jailbreak. So I don't unlock my phone, so I'm not worried. Uh, check out my other video on uh, what I think about jailbreaking. If you're curious about jailbreaking your iPhone and uh, you want to update to 2.2, there's some things you should consider. All right, this is Buona from Buona.tv. These are my thoughts on the iPhone 2.2 firmware and some things you probably didn't know regarding security features. Take care.